Lou Fox three piece tech remover tool. This is made of stainless steel. And uh, I needed something better. Those tick keys do not work so good on my dock. And uh, this set seems like it'll be a lot better. Really doesn't weigh a whole lot. So let's check it out. So we get an idea. Total weight, 2.3 ounces. Super light. This is going to go into my medical kit in my pack. One of the reasons I bought it was because it has its own case. And I'm also going to put an elastic band around it just to make sure. So, yes, this is made out of stainless steel. Really good. I mean, that could get a sliver out too is what that could do. this well it's like regular tweezers on both sides well, this one's pointier this one's flatter these are really nice I could get a sliver out with these quite easily and this particular unit you know allows me to get under the tick and lift up on it and then grab it with the tweezers and then pull straight up because you always want to pull the tech straight up if you can. So, and these three little tools mean the difference between you getting a tick off properly or not getting a tick off properly. Now, if you've ever had a tick, and a lot of people will only get. They think they only get one tick, and they don't. Most ticks I've had on me at one time, probably don't even need these on this one. Yeah, most ticks I've had on me at one time is um, well over well over 20. I couldn't count them. I must have walked through a nest of them. Now, ticks love long grass, and that's really the key to them. When you're walking through the wilderness and you're walking on the forest floor and it's just leaves, you're probably okay. You might get one or two, but they usually like long grass. And if you come across a section that has um, long grass, they climb to the top and they sit on the top of the weeds with their legs out, you know, kind of like this, waiting to grab anything that walks by. And if you walk through a field with a lot of flowers, a lot of long grass, um, you'll come out of there with over 20 ticks and not even know it. Now, a good way to prevent ticks is permethrin. I buy the concentrate. And, uh, actually, it's right here. This is what, that's what I buy there. And, uh, I mix this with, um, water. And you measure out the ounces. But, and I, I cover it in everything. I mean, my clothes, my pack, um, anything that can basically absorb it. And then I just hang it on the line and leave it there. Now, I do it about once every two or three months, depending if I start seeing more ticks on me. If you're covered in permethrin, then you'll literally see the tick get dozy and die. You'll see it fall right off of you. It's pretty cool. But um, if the permethrin doesn't get it, you're going to need to take the tick off. And I do spray permethrin on my dog. It doesn't hurt her at all. Now, they say if you spray it on cats, cats can hurt them. But as long as it's dry, it doesn't hurt the cats. But I'll spray it on her belly, around her back legs, around the bottom of her tail, uh, places like that. But she'll still get ticks on her. She she really will. So and sometimes she'll get tick in places where a tick key just did not want to work. 
and she knows what I'm doing. When I when I when I say lay down and I push her down on her side, and she sees me start playing when her trying to get a tick off her, she knows what I'm trying to get off of her. She really does. But, and this thing is so cheap; it's ridiculous how cheap this tool set is. And you probably should have something like this. And I hate adding weight to my pack, but in your bug out, get home bag, camping bag, whatever. Because there's nothing more uncomfortable than having a bunch of ticks on you and uh, having a way to remove them. Now, that, like I said, there's all kinds of gadgets out there. You can find them left, right, and center. I went with this because it had different types of tweezers. And it can also be used to remove slivers. So it had two uses originally. And I thought, you know, I don't really want to play with those little guys. I just want to hook under them grab them with the tweezers, lift straight up, and get them off of me, and it doesn't matter where. And uh, always, make sure, always make sure you have a mirror. Like my compass has a mirror on it, so I can use the mirror. And the mirror comes in handy when you want to see, you know, the back of your neck. You want to see different places that you can't normally see. And the trick to ticks is you can normally feel you have a tick on you. They, they get a little bit itchy. Like a mild, mild itchiness like a mosquito bite. And don't scratch. If you feel itch itchiness, I just automatically do this when I'm in the bush. If I feel an itchiness, I reach down with my hand and I touch the itchiness a little bit with my finger. Like this, you know, I just kind of rub it. And if all of a sudden I feel a bump, I'm like, okay, that's a tick. So then I examine it closer and then I remove it. But if I don't feel a bump, then I'm like, okay, that's an itch. But I always go into an itch, just gently rubbing it and feeling if I feel a bump so I can identify if it's a tick. It's automatic when I step into the wilderness. It's just something I've always done. So here's a little kit, all stainless steel. Um, I liked it because it had uh, this thing. It keeps it all together. And I am going to throw an elastic around it just to make sure. But the case is a plus. I love the stainless steel. You'll have it for life. You'll buy it once and have it for life. And guess what? Ticks are going to be there for the rest of your life. So maybe you want to pick up two. One for a bug out bag. One for a get home bag. Who knows? But um, these are really cool. And uh, it'll help you remove those ticks really, really easy. So go jump on this. Link's in the bottom. Pick them up on Amazon. I think they're like 7 8 bucks. I mean, super cheap. Go get yourself one. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.